These days, people don't think much about running a higher pile falls. But back then, you have to realize when no one had ever done it, uh, it seemed pretty tough. I remember initially it was kind of controversial to run the falls. This is back when Martin Begun had just run falls down south, and that was real controversial. So there was some debate as to if this was good science or not. And we got to a point where we looked at a higher power falls and we said, well, we think we can run it. So there was a fair amount of tension around the whole thing. You know, we were real excited about it. And so we decided we'd train up a little bit to give ourselves a good chance. But we wanted to be ready. You know, you know, we were tough young men, but we wanted to train hard. Jimmy and I, in the afternoon one day, we went down the railroad rapid. We had seen one or two uh, passengers from Wilderness Voyagers trips get caught in that hole, so we knew it had the potential to hold someone with a life jacket. You know, we learned to go into the waterfall of the hole and let the water come right down on your head and your lap, and that would drive you all the way to the bottom of the river. A lot of times we would actually connect with the bottom of the river, have to release ourselves and swim along the bottom and then come out past the crown of the hole. On July 3rd, 1973, Jimmy and I got up early. We did our warm-ups. The one thing we noticed is when we'd been practicing, the river was about a foot and a half, normal summer level. But on July 3rd, the water came up quite a bit. We got down, I was so focused on getting a line right on the falls, and there's a ledge down there that it, at a certain level, the hole is really uh, pretty strong. We never suspected, it wasn't on our radar at all. And the next thing I see is Dan's throwing big ends, and I'm like, oh, this is so bad, this is not the plan. So I pulled my skirt, swam down. I'm swimming like crazy, because I'm thinking, oh my God, it's six in the morning, I'm gonna be a fatality at a high pile falls. So I chased his boat away, and I assumed he would take care of himself. My boat got all cracked up, I mean, the center of the boat was fine, but for some reason, the ends, the front end and the back end, the seams had cracked. Jim and I had talked a lot, and as well as other people there, about all of the boats are 13 foot too long. So it was an interesting moment in time when American designers were saying, we can do something, we can do our own thing. So I thought, here's my opportunity. I have a, a destroyed Augsburg 3 Prion. So what I did is I, I took it back to a higher pile, set it on saw horses, and in July of 73, I took a, a saw and I sawed off the front end at an angle. And then behind the cockpit, about a foot and a half behind the cockpit, I chopped that off. And I inserted cardboard and foam and glassed over both ends. Uh, I called it my little ender boat at first, later called it the back ender boat. I could go down waves before that you could barely surf in a 13-foot boat. You could go down back surf, do back enders, pirouettes, all kinds of maneuvers that were not easy. You know, you had to be on really huge water to do it in a big boat. Dan's criteria for success was being able to surf waves and play in holes better. And it was clear it was doing that. It wasn't pretty, it was very rough. There were like, you know, resin dribbles all over. It proved the concept. Dan's design influenced my desire to design a boat called the Slice, which is my first boat. That was the first commercially produced short boat in America. I made about 20 of them and sold them, sold them to people. And they liked them, you know, it surfed better and it played in holes better. I took it to Vladimir Von Hub, Noah Kayaks, asked him if he wanted to make it, and he said, well, maybe you should make my designs. And he took me back and showed me the Jedi plug that was almost finished. He said, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm handling the lines a little more delicately. And in fact, he was, you know, and it was a very successful product. And it really, it was the breakthrough product, in my opinion. It's the one that changed the industry. 